to the third module of this chapter. In the last module, we established the concept of variations and how they are created. So now in this module, let us learn the importance of variation. Importance of variation, how variations are going to help living organisms. Just looking at these beautiful pictures, first thing that strikes our mind is variations create biodiversity. But along with creating diversity, are they important for living, for organisms, for their survival? Let us understand this. Populations of organisms live in well-defined places called as niche. Last year, while studying the ecosystems, we studied the concept of niche. Niche is a place where organism lives and also it is a role that the organism performs in its habitat or in that ecosystem. Their body designs allow them to use that particular niche. That means, in another words, the body design of an organism is suitable to survive in that niche. So, let us take a classical example. A polar bear. The polar bear is well adapted to its arctic environment. And why is that? Because of the white fur. Students, the white fur helps it to blend in the white snow, to be one with the white snow. In other words, classically camouflage in the white snow. And the layer of fat, the thick layer of fat below this fur also helps it to keep warm. Wow! That means body design has helped the polar bear to survive successfully in the Arctic environment. Now, however, students, niche can change because of reasons beyond the control of organisms. We all know the Earth's atmosphere is constantly changing. The Earth's face is constantly changing. That means the niche are also going to constantly change. And this is not in the control of organisms because the factors that can cause changes are temperatures can go up and down, the water levels may vary or they can be a meteorite that hits our Earth. All these can change the ecological niche present on this earth. Students, this is very, very drastic. And if this is drastically altered, populations will be wiped out. Because if they are not able to adjust to these changes, they would lose their capacity to reproduce. And if they lose their capacity to reproduce, no new organisms would be producing. And that's the reason today we have some organisms which have become extinct from the face of earth, like dinosaurs, the bird called as dodo, etc. However, if some variations are present, the population may survive. That means variations can help an organism to survive in drastic niche changes. Let's take a classic example. The plant that you see besides is an Indian pipe plant. Initially, this plant was green in color because it was rich in a pigment called as chlorophyll. With the help of chlorophyll, it used to do photosynthesis. It was autotrophic. Over the period, it lost its chlorophyll. Now, it no more could do photosynthesis. This could have wiped out the plant from the face of earth. However, the plant converted itself to saprophytic mode of nutrition rather than photosynthetic. The change... This variation of saprophytic mode has indeed today helped the plant to stay alive. So, it is so beautiful <laughs> that variations help organisms to survive. Another example, if there were a population of bacteria living in the temperate waters, However, and if the water temperature was increased by global warming, most of them would die. But that's not the case because 
today we still have few strains of bacteria resistant to heat and this variation has helped them to survive and grow. So can we successfully establish variations are thus useful for survival of species over a period of time? And with this classic thought, we end the third module of our chapter.